Hello, my name is Alfredo, and this is Off the Strip, where I introduce you to places just minutes off the Las Vegas Strip, or take you on one of my many adventures. Today, we are in Dublin, Ireland. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. More information is listed below. We made it to Dublin. So we've checked in, we're hungry, so we're walking to the Brazen Head for dinner. Dating back to 1198, the Brazen Head is Ireland's oldest pub. If you're looking for a true Irish pub experience, The Brazen Head will deliver. Located on Bridge Street, it's open to visitors seven days a week. The Brazen Head is just a short walk from Christchurch Cathedral, Guinness Brewery, and Jameson Distillery. In 1754, it served as a coaching inn to refresh weary travelers. Today, it is popular with locals and tourists alike because of the authentic atmosphere where anyone can enjoy a pint and traditional live music. After enjoying traditional Irish fish and chips, we decided to grab one last pint and walk over to the Temple Bar before turning in. Established in 1840, it is arguably one of Dublin's most famous pubs. This iconic red building is visited by tourists from all over the world. When locals talk about the Temple Bar, they say it's mostly a bar for tourists, which is why tourists can expect to pay more for a pint of Guinness, usually about 2 euros more. But you can't visit Dublin and not have at least one pint at the famous Temple Bar. The Temple Bar offers more than 450 varieties of whiskey. It is Ireland's largest collection. At the Temple Bar, you can grab a pint, make new friends from all over the world, and listen to live music seven days a week. After traveling from Iceland all day, it was time for us to cross over the famous Halfpenny Bridge and walk back to our hotel, get some rest, and be ready for our first full day in Dublin. Stay tuned for our city walking tour of Dublin. 